Greetings, Brittany here. Thank you for checking out Pure Love Yoga. And this is Vitality of Vinyasa. We're gonna take a look at vinyasa variations from the floor. And these are transitions between our floor postures that keep the body light and lean. We're gonna start by looking at the foundational seated position, Dandasana, and then work through the progression of stepping back and forward to jumping back and floating through. And we'll end by learning Chakrasana. Starting with Dandasana, we're gonna sit with the legs straight out and the palms pressing to the floor on either sides of your hips. For those of you with tight hamstrings, just slide the hands back a bit, straighten the legs and lift the chest. We're gonna organically work the torso to a 90 degree angle. This is considered option A for vinyasas. Next, we're gonna look at B, the jump back prep. This transition gives us strengthening tools needed to eventually float back. So from Dandasana, lift the legs, cross them at the shins, draw the thighs in tightly to the chest, the heels towards the gluteals, reach the arms out and press through the palms of the hands, then returning to position A, Dandasana. Now that we're progressing, it's time to pick it up. After drawing the legs in and extending the arms out, look forward and work the hands in front of the knees. Continue looking ahead while stepping the feet back to high plank, then modifying Chaturanga, Upward Facing Dog, and Downward Facing Dog if necessary. From Down Dog, move your drishti gaze between the thumbs, bend into the knees, and hop halfway, landing on the pads of the feet with the shins crossed, the thighs against the chest, knees together, and palms stay flat. Keep drishti at the hands and make micro hops until you reach what I call the oh shit zone, where you can't go any farther forward without lifting the hands or feeling as if you're gonna fall back. When you arrive here, it's time to drop the hips down to the heels, look forward and reach the arms out in front of you to counterpose the body's weight and attempt to sit voluntarily back down into Dandasana. All right, let's work the float going back. This time as you lift, cross and squeeze the legs, reach the arms forward, press the hands into the earth. Draw the legs back through the arms as you bend into the elbows, using core and shoulder strength to eject the feet back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Once you get to Downward Facing Dog, it's time to work on floating through. So from Downward Dog, move Drishti between the thumbs, bend into the knees and jump the hips high above the shoulders while crossing the shins and bringing the thighs to the chest. Begin to extend the right foot, weaving it through the arms first with the left foot following closely. Keep the arms strong and the core engaged as you extend the legs straight out, returning smoothly to Dandasana. All right, now for Chakrasana. This is a fun transition from postures where we are lying down. To prep and build strength as well as confidence to roll backwards, begin by placing the hands on either sides of the ears with the palms flat and the fingers aimed towards your shoulders. We're gonna lift the legs up and overhead to place the toes on the floor. Stay here and work on building arm strength. With control, lower the legs back down to the floor. After some practice, you'll be ready to go all the way back. Remember to look back as you go and press strongly into the earth with the hands, keeping the elbows close to the head. Pressing through the arms, keep the legs shooting backwards, landing in a quasi downward facing dog. Then walk the hands forward till the body reaches plank and complete the vinyasa. Be sure to visit the website for yoga goods, plus keep tabs on my upcoming retreats. One love, Brett.